Minister, you're very welcome to the, um, the House. And, and yes, I, I, a few months back, and probably last year, we had we had statements before on forestry, and you know, we, we, I hope that we don't. We, the next time we see you here, Minister, talking about forestry will be hopefully when we're actually implementing a piece of legislation about improving this and improving the, the situation. Um, because you know, all, all the members here today spoke about the crisis that we have. Um, you know, the, the, this, the long delays, and you know, there's I think there's, there's five thousand applications in the system at the minute. You know, that that proves that there's such an incredible interest. There's a want for this. It's not that we're you know the, the, the the, what the media like to think that it's, we're dragging farmers by, their, by the scruff of the necks into to be environmental. There's 5,000 applications out there, I get granted 2,000 of them for culture, but there's five, over 5,000 applications there for forestry. Um, and that's you know, open-minded to, towards growing trees, carbon sequestration, um, and we, we have to support them and, and, and get to action. And, and Minister, you know, I absolutely commend you. You come in and you had um, a, a, a poison chalice of, of, of this. Um, and we have a huge issue with granting licences in this country in general, whether it be, you know, we, we see the, the problem with our, our peat, um, that's, you know, falling between a licence and crack or legislation or whatever the case may be. And now we have this, and we have this going on for, for over a decade, and we're getting to a crisis point now where we, we, we can't, we can't, um, we're, we're, we're at sta status, stasis, and we, we can't move on. I suppose, um, uh, what I'd, and if anyone knows me, they'd know that uh, I would be a huge advocate for native Irish trees because, um, number one, uh, they, they are obviously a, a clear uh, carbon sequestration. They are, um, they are, are a pathway to becoming a cleaner and greener country, but also they hold an awful lot of our heritage. And um, when we think of you know, three of our counties, um, Mayo, Derry and Kildare, all named after trees, our townlands, there is an incredible amount of knowledge in between um, our our um, our our um, our townlands, and I think of Annaverna at home is you know named after the alder tree, and I, I doubt there's an alder left in Annaverna, and um, because it, they have they have been down. But wouldn't it be lovely to start putting trees that fit into the townlands, fit there? They're supposed to be there when you think of them. Um, uh, Things with um, areas with, with quillen in it. That's the holly tree. They were there. They're named after that, those things for a reason. So let's start embracing that and using that because um, our, our, our ancestors were very wise to, to our ecology um, before they even had the word ecology. Um, and, and, you know, we. we we speak about you know a crisis and we speak about an emergency we had the covid crisis and we brought in emergency legislation we we took that we grabbed we gra grabbed hold of it and we changed things very dramatically we had different procurement processes for healthcare workers you know we 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 started we started with you know breaking down bureaucracy and i think minister you know that's not that's not for for you that um, that is a whole of government problem we have, and that procurement of staff in, in the entire public health, public public system, and we do have a problem with hiring people. You know, you mentioned that we have we have increased dramatically the amount of ecologists. I think there was only two when when you came in, um, or very near that, and they were, were up to a, um, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure, but there is a dramatically higher number now, and that's all down to, to you and your ambition towards this, this the, our, our forestry sector. Um, one thing I'd like to highlight as well, Minister, and was my disappointment in the CAP plan was there was no hedgerow management um, scheme in that, um, and you know I think there that is that is a huge an open door uh, to you know we have over 700,000 kilometres of hedgerow in the country, and um, we have you know all along our roadsides that they're 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 a pathway a highway for biodiversity and sequestration. So I think um, and I, I I hope that there will be a real proper um, hedgerow management plan in that. And I see you know even on our motorway. As Minister, you know, we, we see they're, they're cutting their trees down to, to the bare roots pretty much. Um, and I'd like to see why is that happening? Because, uh, um, you know, when you're, when you're sitting on the M1 and you're seeing, we are seeing bare roots, it would be far nicer to see the sea trees and some, some wildlife when, when, you're, when you're driving by. Um, the, we, we, other members spoke about the streamlining of, of, the, of the process, and that is so important. We want, the, um, for the want of a better word, that one-stop shop. Um, I want to plant trees in my land. 
um, I'll go to this department and that will be, I'm going to be taken care of. I'm going to be taken care of. I'm not going to have to be dealing with different, different organisations, different planning processes, and we're just going to be get um, get that taken care of. My apologies, I ran okay. over time. I have so much to okay. say about this, but best, very best of luck with this. Thank you. Okay.